This tutorial is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your website on demand. And don't forget, subscribe for more tutorials. This video is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get your Shopify questions answered on demand for affordable prices. How to create an image-based nav menu or add images to main nav menu in Shopify. The user posted this site which has a nav menu with these images on the bottom so we're going to be working on these ones at the bottom okay so I'm just going to go and close this and I have here my shop test shop and first thing first thing we want to do is to upload the images that are going to be behind the nav items so let's go into our shop and go into settings and I've already made a two different images um, to show this example with dimensions of 500 width of pixels and 300 pixels high. You can do these smaller or bigger, but it's up to you. So let's go ahead and upload the files. I'm going to upload two files for two different um, you know, images in the menu. So go ahead and upload those two files. And there we go. So now write down these two links are very important. Well, we just need them. So write them down somewhere. I have another window so I can write them down there. And there we go. So once we've done that, let's go ahead and go into the menu and right click and inspect. This is the important part. Right, so as we can see here, we have a link with an A, and this is the, the one we want to be targeting. So let's just go ahead and check up here. We have a list and an unordered list. So I think a good selector would be to use the unordered list and then use the nth child selector to select each of the lists and use a different image and at the, la at the last set step use a use the active class to target those menu items you'll see what I mean in just a second so I'm gonna go ahead and make this selector I'm going to make this custom selector out of here so let's just go ahead and say unordered list dot site and then it's going to be the first item of the list so it's child one and we want to target that link so that's where we want to put the background image URL and I'm going to copy the image Close curly braces. So hopefully that's that makes sense. And now we want to target the another list that is active. The list item that is active. So let's go ahead and use all another list dot site now because site nav and then. You know, there's many ways to do this, but this should work. Site, nav, active, and then target the link inside. And also use the background image URL. And then paste the URL of the second image we uploaded. Don't forget the semicolons on closing. So now we're gonna we're going to copy this. And let's go ahead and go into the code. So online store, I'm using the debut theme, actions, edit code. Right there, let's go into the assets folder and theme.scss.liquid. 
scroll to the bottom. As this is CSS, is it's cascading style sheet, so whatever we put at the bottom will probably override whatever is at the top. And copy and paste, I mean paste the code we just wrote down and save. Okay, so once we've saved, let's go ahead and refresh this and see if this is working. And there we have the image set for the active and the first item. So they're repeated here. So basically, now that I've clicked on the other one, we know they're working properly because we have one image for the active one and one image for the first list item. So obviously this doesn't look how we want it to look yet. Let's go ahead and use the console again. And now we can target the link as well and now we have the background image so let's go ahead and play around a little bit with this and let's set first set a width of nine viewport width and a height of around eleven played around a little bit with this before so background position center so it's, it's looking a little bit better now. Background size is very important. And now we want this link to be in the middle of the image. How do we do that? Well, there's many ways to do that. One of them would be to target this and say display table self. And then use the vertical align middle property. So I think that is pretty good. What do you think? Um, this should work. So now let's go ahead and copy this code and paste it in the code that we've written down right here. So the, they are, we're going to have to copy it into both selectors just to make things a little easier to understand. And then we have that. And then let's go ahead and save and refresh and see how it behaves. Okay, so this is the active image. This is a pink one. And when we close on the first one, well, it cancels out because it's the active one, which is really nice. So we can go ahead and just add different images to different elements in the list or we can just target all the elements in the list by removing this nth child selector. I will showcase this, go ahead and save and refresh and there we go. So now we have an active and we have a menu that changes with the different selections. Hope you enjoyed this. This was Alex from Ask Questy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, please subscribe. And if you need extra help, visit askquesty.com and send us your questions.